I'm pleased to announce the 2019 National Staffing Employee of the Year, Shia De Olio Medina. We're thrilled to have Shia here with us today. Let me tell you about Shia's amazing staffing success story. Shia immigrated to the U.S. from the Dominican Republic in 2016 after accepting a marriage proposal from a partner of 10 years. The decision to come here was one of the hardest of her life as she had to leave her country and loved ones to move to a place where she knew almost no one and didn't speak the language. However, our National Staffing Employee of the Year is a courageous and determined young woman. Set on succeeding in the U.S., Shai immediately began teaching herself the basics of English by watching Netflix programs with subtitles. She also began looking for work. She applied for many jobs and was rejected time and time again due to her limited English, but she never gave up. Eventually, she found a job at a senior living community, and after about six months there, a colleague told her that a friend was looking for bilingual speakers to work at a call center in Orlando, Florida. The position sounded intriguing, but Shai was unsure of her English and was, was up to the task. However, the opportunity was too good to pass up. So she submitted her resume to Remex, a staffing company in Orlando, for consideration. The Remex recruiter, Carla Bartlett, quickly contacted Shia for a phone interview and then met her in person. Carla saw Shia's potential from the start. Carla took the time to coach Shia for the client interview. Coaching is one of those wonderful personalized services staffing companies offer to help candidates succeed. With Carla's support, and despite initial nervousness about her ability to serve in a bilingual role, Shia aced the interview and landed the assignment with Remex client Secure Transportation. In Shia's words, after that day, my life changed. Remex and Carla gave me the opportunity to prove myself that I could do this. At Secure Transportation, Shia's English continued to improve on the job and her confidence grew and professional, her confidence and professional skills grew. She flourished there and built strong relationships with coworkers who she now considers family. The client took notice of Shia's incredible rapport with customers, her hardworking can-do attitude, her intelligence, and sparkling personality. And with just a few months, she was offered and accepted a permanent role there. Shai continues to be a happy, satisfied employee of Secure Transportation. She conquered challenges and built a meaningful life for herself in a new country. She now considers the U.S. to be her home and looks forward to citizenship in the near future. Shai's story isn't just one of staffing success. It's one of success in this land of opportunity for all. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming Shia de Leon Medina. Good morning and buenos dias, Spanish. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. I feel so nervous, but here I am. <laughs> I'm so excited to be the, um, the National Staff and Employee of the Year and represent the millions of people like me who are um, temporary employees. Um, when I came to this country a few years ago, um, one year and six months, to be exact. <laughs> I never thought I would be here in Washington, D.C., in front of so many people. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm dreaming. I'm, I'm in shock. I mean, I, I, <laughs> this is too much to process. Um, I would like to thank uh, the special people who um, have helped me on this journey. First, I must thank my ex-partner, even though the relationship didn't know, did not work out as we expect, uh, she's the reason why I'm here in this country today, and I'm grateful for that. When I have no place to live after my, my separation, I met this uh, wonderful Dominican lady. Her name is Eustacia Casillas. I call her mama. She gave me a place to live, and she put food in my belly <laughs> without knowing me because she felt empathy for my situation. She opened the doors to her house as if I was a daughter, and I would never forget that. Jackie Simmons, 
She was the first person who, um, in this country who gave me a job at a nursing facility, uh, Savannah Court, that was, that was the name. I have always kept her word uh, with me. She told me, never stop. Whatever you want, you will get it. You are determined, and I believe in you. She made me cry that day. That was in the interview. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that day, and she hugged me. At that moment, I realized how much I need a hug at, at that moment, that day. By her believing in me, I began to believe in myself. Next, I must thank my family of co-workers at my current job at the nursing facility also. Mercedes Martinez, Don Finch, Sandra Rivera, Omar Rodriguez, Alexandra Rodriguez. They, I love them so much. They help me like a lot. Venus Laporte, she's my supervisor right now, Sergio Figueroa, and Annie Sebastiani. They more than trained me, they became my teachers. And they, every day they teach me how to pronounce or the meaning of a new word in English. Every day, a new word. We still laugh a lot about my unique way of saying things in English, it's very funny. <laughs> and when I did, I did not have a car, they were my, my personal Uber drivers. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I went to work every day in a bike because, of course, I didn't have money when I just came here and I was living like 10 miles away from my job. So I, I ride a bike every day. And when I couldn't because I was too tired, they just did just help me and take me or pick me up. And I, that's, I will never forget that. I'm also grateful to the team Remix. Thank you so much. <laughs> And I'm so happy that President um, Johnny Courtney, Carla, my recruiter, I love you, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> they are here to support me today. Thank you so much for that. With all my heart, Carla, I must thank you, for real. After being rejected a thousand times for being limited in my, in my I mean, in the English, you were the only person who saw what I had to offer and know what, what, what I did not have at the moment. You became my mentor and my friend, and without you, I would not be here today. So thank you so much. I thank God and my mom, who takes care of me from heaven. She was murdered when I was nine years old, and I miss her, like, a lot. But I know she's always with me, and that she's very proud of me. Lastly, I must thank my partner, Sorelis. I love you, <laughs> who also is here with me. Thank you for your love and your support every day. In my life, I have learned that being a victim is the easy road to take, and the excuses and limits are all early on our minds. And as long as we are positive and healthy, anything is possible. This is one of the most unforgettable experiences in my life. Thank you, American Staffing Association, for all this. I, I never thought I could, I could be a winner of this. And this experience has taught me that in Spanish, el que quiere siempre, siempre hará más que aquel que realmente puede. Thank you so much.